Uh, God's been convicting me about um, the words we speak. Um, Numbers 23, verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie, nor son of man that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? If we are con we're to be conformed to God's image in Jesus Christ, then every aspect of our lives should align with him in his character. Uh, this, past couple, uh, this past week I've been really convicted about making promises to people and then not, and then not following through. Um, and when we see how God speaks, God always speaks with purpose. When God speaks, He always fulfills. And as Christians, we are supposed to be image bearers of, of our Father in Heaven, right? So when we speak, we should follow through with our, with our promises. And God's been convicting me about my idle words. Do you follow through with the words you speak? Didn't God say, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that He, that he who so believed in Him shall inherit eternal life. God spoke that promise. But then we see in the book of Romans, not just the speaking of that, of that promise, for God demonstrated His love for us in this, that while we're yet sinners, Christ died for us. When God speaks, He fulfills. When we speak, we should fulfill our promises as well. That is, that is God a character in our lives, right? Amen. So let us be like that. Um, it really hurts our witness. And I was convicted about my own life. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a people person. I love making people happy. I love you know, being around people. Um, but then that can slowly become, become a people pleaser. And you see, Jesus never overextended himself. He knew what he can and what he, what he could not do. When Jesus spoke, he always fulfilled what he said he would do. Even in the flesh. So let's, let's be just like him. Let's not speak empty words or idle words. And I like follow through things to me. I'm going to point that out to me. Because it really was a big character fall that I had. It does not glorify God. Our words need to hold weight. For our lives are a testimony to others. God cannot entrust his blessings to, to poor stewards. He invests in the wise. So let's be wise with our words and with our resources. Are you a person God can look to and speak boldly in, love and follow through with your commitments? This affects every relationship in your life, between your between husband and wife, between our parents and his child, between our friendships. The words we speak should bear weight. It should be valuable. Do not use your words like a credit card and hope to pay back later. Invest your words wisely. So I made up some proverbs of my own. The book of Ken Plasties. <laughs> better are few words kept than many made and not fulfilled. It's better to follow through your commitments and be a dependable friend than speaking too much and be considered a flaky friend. There is no credit limit to your words, but be wise and may find yourself alone. Your words should be like gold tried through the fire. Not like wheat in a furnace that leaves no trace. Better, this is a funny one. <laughs> Better is a mangy cat clawing at your face than the heart of your wife scarred from your empty words. Keep your words to your children or find yourself alone uh, giving your last breath. Keep your promises to your wife or enjoy a cold meal and a long night on the sofa. <laughs> Keep your promises, and I'll work on that. <laughs>